I first read this novel when it was originally published because I've been a lifelong fan of Star Trek, especially the original 1966 through 69 series. When it won the 2013 Hugo Award for Best Novel, awarded annually by fans, I knew I had to include it on our reading list. You'll be the judges as to whether it deserves the accolades it received. From the beginning of the semester, we've talked about the reciprocal nature of science fiction. That idea has a number of manifestations. Readers and fans become writers and critics. Authors shape their ongoing series in response to reader feedback. Successful tropes enter the knowledge base of the readership. And so a 21st century author doesn't have to explain faster than light travel, suspended animation, or wormholes any longer. Red Shirts clearly depends upon a readership who is not only familiar with Star Trek's basic design and storytelling, but also with the ways in which the original series has been adopted, parodied, critiqued, and expanded in the years since it went off the air. One crucial question in a class like ours is whether the novel can stand alone and appeal to readers without that foundation of references and assumptions. If you're not familiar with Star Trek and its nearly 50-year legacy of sequels, books, movies, games, and parodies, how well does Scalzi draw you into the world he's creating in this novel? A second way to look at the reciprocal nature of Scalzi's novel is to consider the ways in which it breaks the fourth wall to involve the reader directly in the experience of the text. That will become especially obvious around halfway in, so I won't give that away here, but even at the outset, Scalzi deliberately draws our attention to the writing process and the artificial nature of the character's experiences. One aspect of this is Scalzi's use of references to pop culture beyond science fiction. In Chapter 1, a crewman asks, Who are you who is so wise in the way of alien fungus? Which references a line from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. This technique clearly designed to catch our attention and draw us out of the events of the narrative, constantly reminding us that we're reading a story. More significant, of course, will be the character's own growing awareness that they are themselves in a story created by someone else. But to say more would be giving too much away. So, as you read Red Shirts, please be thinking about the ways in which narrative, not just science fiction, but all the stories that we tell, depends upon shared contexts and deliberative construction. Just how much control does an author have over his or her characters?